Hello everyone, Gary here from RC Street Wars and GK Systems Engineering and today is an exciting day because we are going to answer the number one question. What is best? If you're new to RC or not new to RC, you see and hear this question all the time. What's the best? What's the best motor? What's the best battery? What's the best speed control? What's the best thing I should do for my RC car? Well, we're going to start answering it with our newest Go Fast series that we're going to launch on YouTube, publish the results on our website, and share the media and the updates through social media. Well, how are we going to do it? Our newest weapon, the RC Street Wars Dino. The Dino. Okay, I want to take a quick minute and thank all the amazing and super intelligent people and engineers that helped us acquire this one of one dynamometer, all right? There is no other dyno in the world out there that's gonna do what this is gonna do. And we're gonna talk about the dyno and go over it in a second, but I'm gonna start off with what we're planning on doing and how we're gonna start it. The best, we hear this question all the time. How do we answer it? Well, I think it's no secret that the number one thing that people do when they get an RC car is they're looking for a battery. And it's probably the number one question we get answered all the time. What's the best battery? Should I spend money on a top of the line brand? Should I buy something that looks good off of Amazon? They both say 5,200, right? Should be the same. I don't know. Let's find out. Is spending a few extra dollars on a premium, well-trusted brand worth it? Or should we just cheap out and buy the lowest cost option or should we spend maybe another couple dollars and get a premium line or a gold series i don't know let's test it and find out we're going to start this ghost fast series by testing the most popular battery in rc and that's the 2s 5200 series we're gonna go through the batteries with a barrage of tests that are designed to give you guys the answers you're looking for and make it where you can understand what is the best battery for you. As we move through this series, we're gonna go and publish the results on our website. There's gonna be a dedicated page and we're, we're probably planning on doing something fun. We're gonna have a little competition, maybe like a ladder system where we have the battery that's the current winner at the top and then it takes on a challenger and then does it get overthrown or does it keep its title? We're gonna see, but we're gonna make it fun. We're gonna give you guys the information that you need. And in a separate video, we're gonna talk about the testing procedure and how we're gonna do it. But right now, I know everyone's dying to see the dyno, see it run. And let me give you a quick little demonstration. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the battery for testing. And in this case, I already have a battery hooked up. So I'm gonna select it. And I'm going to select my test load. In this case, I'm going to do a maximum load test. And I'm going to start my test. Now it's telling me that I've already run this battery. But yes, I want to overrun it. And I'm going to start the test. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> OMG, I wish you guys were here to see this thing run. It is absolutely amazing but let's quickly go over the numbers what do we get well we got mile per hour 160 miles an hour torque 21.58 inch pounds horsepower 9.39 horsepower watts is 8800 watts and 717 amps we have our starting voltage our lowest voltage our average voltage we have here a power factor profile which is going to tell us how many amps we have for every half second duration into the run. This is the kind of data that's gonna allow us to go through these batteries and tell you, hey, is this battery worth it? Is the battery power per gram? Yes, we're gonna weigh these batteries and give you a power per gram. Because remember, unlike a fuel car where the fuel load drops, the mass of the battery is there all the time. So as we run down the battery, Will there be enough power to move its mass throughout the duration of however we're using it? These are important things to consider when we're buying a battery. We're going to give you that information. So 
I know everyone's dying to go over the, the dyno. I'm gonna turn this thing around, do a quick overview on the dyno, and then I want everyone to look to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and social media to stay informed of all the updates. But we're really excited for this. We want everyone to go fast and we wanna help you go fast, so. Okay, so let's talk about the dynamometer for a minute. You're gonna notice that we have a couple different components here. Right here is a fixed mass flywheel. This is part of the centrifugal load. This is a eddy current retarder. This applies an electrical load to the motor. Here we have the drive belt, and then here we have something very important, very unique. This is a professional lab grade dynamometer. This is not a toy. We have a load cell for a direct force measurement. You can see there's an arm that's connected to the motor shaft. And here we're actually seeing direct torque measurement. This is calibrated with a fixed load. This is a lab grade load cell. So I'm gonna explain what happens. We use the fixed mass for initial acceleration, which simulates the vehicle taking off the line and starting to accelerate. As the vehicle accelerates, it's naturally gonna see aero load. That's where the load portion of the dyno comes in. As we start to transition from the accelerating the mass, we apply a load, and this is going to give us an accurate representation of how the battery, the motor, the speed controller operate in the car. Because once we accelerate, that's not the end of the story. We still have to push it through its terminal speed, and that's why you need the load cell. Now, what do we get from this? Well, from this part, we're going to get the power. Power is in watts. Watts is voltage times amperage. Now, most other dynos or some other products on the market will do a reverse calculation for torque. Not us. We have a direct torque measurement through the load cell. We know this is accurate. All the data that's going to be given to you guys is going to be highly accurate, repeatable, and we are confident that when we publish the results, these will be true, unbiased, and give you guys what you need to make the best decision to go fast. Well, that wraps up our intro. I hope everybody will subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. So you just search for RC Street Wars, you'll find the YouTube channel, you search for RC Street Wars on Facebook, and then we'll have updates going to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and the videos will go to YouTube. We're extremely excited about this. We've put a lot of energy, we've teamed up with a lot of very, very smart, very intelligent engineers to bring the highest quality in testing equipment so that we can give you guys the answers that you deserve so you can spend your money wisely and go fast. That's what it's all about. So we're extremely excited. Stay tuned, amazing is gonna happen and let's go fast everyone.